taking a look at our questions from convert between customary and um, converting between customary units and metric units. We're going to take a look at question number one, question number five, and question number eight. So starting off with question one, we're going from 127 centimeters to inches. So the first thing you're going to want to do is look for the conversion. Okay, we know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. You should always write them underneath in the order that they are presented. So we should put 2.54 centimeters first because that aligns with what we're looking at above, and then one inch. Now we're going to say that we're going, uh, whether we're going from big to small or small to big. A centimeter is smaller than an inch, so we are going from small to big, which means we are going to be dividing the pig. So we're going to take 127 and divide it by 2.54. You can do that on your calculator, and you're going to get that to be equal to 50. That's important to remember your units are inches. Um, so write in 50 inches. And that is it for question one. I'm going to continue on in this page for the other two problems as well. Okay, taking a look at question number five. We have five feet nine inches and we need to convert it to just inches. So this is not between the metric system and the customary system. This is just in the customary system. Um, we already have our nine inches. What we need to change is the five feet. So we need to go from feet to inches, feet to inches. So we know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. We are currently going from big to small. So that means that we are going to multiply all. Big to small, multiply all. So over to the side, um, we're going to take five. The number five for five feet, and we're going to multiply it by that 12 and we get 60 inches, but we're not done yet. We need to add in the original nine inches. So plus nine more inches. Our final answer will be 69 inches. So for question five, you would write in 69, for 69 inches. Um, remember that you can round to the 10th place if it's a question that requires rounding. Um, Let's take a look at question number eight. 100 ounces to grams. 100 ounces to grams. We have our conversion factor right up here that we're going to want to use. Um, ounces to grams. The ounce is um, from our customary system. Grams are the metric system. We know that one ounce, one OZ, is equal to 28.35 grams. Now that is not an exact conversion, um, that is rounded. It's very hard to get from the custom, our customary system to metrics. Um, so they come up with their own type of rounding. Okay, so an ounce is bigger than a gram, so we are going big to small which means that we are going to multiply again. Going from big to small. So we are going to multiply. So taking a look for question number eight. I'm going to just kind of write this over here. Okay, we are taking 100 and we are multiplying that by 2 or 28.2. 28.35. When you multiply by 100, um, you're just moving the decimal place two places to the right. So that ends up equaling 2,835. And the unit would be grams. And we'll write that in up here. 2,835.
835. Make sure you guys email me if you are stuck on anything and you have any questions. And that is it for today's homework.